What's up, everybody? This is Carl from Tech for Goodies, and today we are looking at something that I thought was pretty unique. It's a Kickstarter project called the Vobot Mini Dock. So this is a docking station with a screen and built-in apps so that you can kind of control what is showing on the screen on the right side here. Now at its base function, it is a docking station, okay? So you do have the USB-C cable on the right side here that I have hooked up to my PC. And on the back here, you do have a PD 100 watt input. So it allows you to be able to charge your devices through the dock itself, which is pretty standard for docks. You have a 4K 60 Hertz HDMI output. So if you want to be able to hook up a 4K monitor or 4K TV, you can do so. You have the one gigabit per second ethernet port. So you can hardwire your devices rather than using Wi-Fi. And you also have the USB-A 3.0 port that allows you to charge your devices or use some kind of additional storage that plugs into USB-A. On the side here, you also have an additional two USB-C ports that allow you to have that USB-C expansion that you would expect in docking stations. These are both USB-C ports with 5 watt, 1.5 amp charging ability. Neither of these are the PD pass-through, that's what you have on the back here. But this allows your 5 volt, 1.5 amp charging as well as your 5 gigabit per second transfer. Now on top of being a docking station, I think the unique feature obviously is this screen. Rather than just being a dull old docking station that might sit on your desk, this gives you the time as well as the ability to change up what you're seeing on the screen here. So with this screen, the sort of power of this device is that they have kind of an app store or apps that you can run on here. So for example, you can have a Pomodoro timer, you can have a calendar, a weather, and if you look on the right side here, you have a little jogger wheel that allows you to switch between the different items in the list here. And when you push this in, it actually selects what you wanna see on the screen. They also have an additional button here that is kind of your back button, but that brings you back to the list. And like I was saying, you can have a calendar, you can have weather, stocks, cryptocurrency, your to-do list, PC monitoring. So if you wanna monitor your heat levels of your CPU or your computer, you can do so. A full settings menu, media player, screen mirroring. So if you wanna have a small portion of your screen showing up and displaying whatever you want on this, you can do so. And a game emulator. Now, one thing to keep in mind that is this is a Kickstarter product. So this game emulator is sort of experimental. They are updating it over time. And then generally game emulators can tend to be a little bit buggy depending on what you're running it on. So I went ahead and downloaded a small little ROM here for Super Mario Brothers. And they did send over a small little Bluetooth controller that I can use. This does not come with the dock itself. This is something that you'll have to buy separately. You can buy this one or buy one of your choosing, but it is a Bluetooth uh, pairing device. So once it is connected, you can see here that it does show all of the games that you have loaded on here. The way that works is on your computer, you'll go to a specific URL once you have this set up on your home network device and you'll be able to upload games to it. And once you get it set up, you'll be able to play small little emulated games on the dock that's sitting on your desk. Kind of a novelty feature in my opinion, but at the same time, still pretty cool. I wouldn't mind having like maybe some intro or something looping on there just for visual appeal when you are using the device. They have a full ecosystem of apps and stuff that you can download and use yourself, but you can program your own. Now I'm excited about that because that gives you the ability to maybe display your YouTube subscriber account. You can pull information from sporting games and display that on the screen. You can do all sorts of stuff because that additional ability to sort of program your own apps or have your own local code running, it opens up a world of possibilities. So that's something that I'm definitely gonna get into and try out. Again, that is sort of their experimental mode. Obviously, if you're programming something for a device, you can mess up your code and cause issues, but they give you that ability to do that by turning on their developer mode. So again, not your average docking station, a docking station with a, a full screen on the front gives you all the standard stuff that you would expect in a docking station, but gives you that extra little screen to play around with. And when it comes to your desk setup, if you're someone like me that likes to tinker with things, this is something that I think is actually very cool and will be a lot of fun. So if you're interested in checking it out, I will leave the Kickstarter link down below. Thanks to the folks at Vobot for sending this over for me to share with you. 
I love finding very unique, small little products like this that really sort of break outside the box of the standard conventional USB hubs or products and do something unique. So definitely go over and check that out. If this helped you out, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe. I'd love to see you back. But until next time, this is Carl from Techful Goodies, and I'm out.